It's more gaming stuff. Of course, what else would be arriving here on my front porch? So this is something I backed, some terrain systems that I backed on Kickstarter, and I just popped open the box to hop, and okay, well, we're going to have to figure out what all this stuff is. It, it's some type of laser cut, um, well, okay, architectural model kit. This is not a toy for adult collectors only. Okay, well, let me put, actually, let me just put this box down. This is heavy. And then I'll just get out each one of these kits, and we can see what I got. This is another one of those Kickstarters that I backed so long ago that I don't even remember what I got. So this is the Barbican, Medieval European Castle Gatehouse. It's in the 25 to 28 millimeter scale. Let's see here. Combined with other medieval castle and town series, probably what I did was just get everything they had. Probably. <laughs> uh, we will see. Oh, pro texture. You know what? I do remember that they had a couple of different ways to texture these. And uh, one was the basic and one was the pro. What's this? So, something else. Castle, gatehouse. Okay, so here are my instructions about how to put it together. What I got. Hand painted. Weathering information. Put log cover removal. So this is that pro texture. Okay, look at this. Hope you can see it. This is really nicely engraved stone texture. I know it took them a while to, to get all this done. And that's probably why. It looks very precisely cut, and then that is just a fantastic texture. More pieces. I don't know what that is. I just won't unpack it yet. I love the look of the texture. I'm glad I went with the pro texture. I can remember now going back and forth. Do I just get the basic ones, or do I get the ones with the pro texture? And I, I pulled the trigger on the pro texture, and I'm glad I did. This is... I got, I got so much terrain stuff to make some fantastic setups in the gaming room. Man. I'm going to have to go through probably look at them a little bit faster. So that's the Barbican. Probably what I'm going to have to do is just pull out one. Because I've got so much stuff I've got to paint and assemble and everything like that for miniatures and everything. And just say, listen, we're going to pull out one. We'll get it set up completely done. And then we will do another another one. Because otherwise I'll pull them all at a time. Stretch goal, uh, stretch goals pack contains balconies, bay windows, barrels, gibbet, and carts. That's cool. I can see in here, I won't pull out all of these pieces. I can see we got like a, a cut skeleton here <laughs> that people are going to be hanging from. Creaky Timbers, medieval, uh, medieval Europe townhouse. That's what it's going to look like. I guess in kind of an unboxing and, you know, initial impressions, I don't need to get all of these pieces out. We got more of the pro stone texture here. That looks good. This is going to set up such a great looking table. Pro Texture Kit's only weathered versus clean. The frames are left unclean to give a weathered look. It can either be used as is or can be wiped with a damp cloth or wet wipe to get a cleaner and lighter texture. Clean realistic engraved stones using a damp or wet cloth wipe. The part should not be soaked in water. Only a damp cloth or wet wipe is to be used. Excess moisture should be wiped away quickly. Okay. Very high quality instruction manual here. Hopefully the instructions are clear. They look pretty clear, but I mean full color gloss instruction book that's good i'm glad that uh glad it comes with that pro texture cleaning so that's kind of the differences in what it's telling you that your texture could look like with the patina on it and then without the patina if you wipe it with the cloth that does look good i kind of like the the white highlights might have to do that the eerie i don't know if i need to open all of these up I think maybe I might just save the opening of each one until I actually open one for assembly.
because I bet they're all going to look about the same. So the Eerie Medieval Europe Castle Guard Tower. Faulty Manor Medieval Europe High Dwelling. There we go. Did you see this without the glare? So that's the Eerie Castle Guard Tower. The High Dwelling. Green Gables, Medieval Europe Peasant Dwelling. Oh, I didn't notice they've also got a level. I guess that's their complexity or something here. So two, four, uh, three and a half. I'll, I'll remember that, I hope, when I decide to get one out and start. Maybe I'll start with one of the easier ones. So the Rook, Medieval Europe Castle Tower. That's pretty cool. So that's what I got. Castle Tower, Peasant Dwelling, High Dwelling, Castle Guard Tower, tower the Townhouse, the Barbican, and then my Pack of Stretch Goals Extras. That's a bunch of terrain to build. It's going to be fun, though. I hope that they're relatively easy to put together so that I can uh, turn on a movie or something like that and uh, assemble them and just uh, enjoy myself. That's kind of why I wanted to get these anyway, I remember. Rather than trying to do a bunch of scratch building, I saw these come up on Kickstarter, and I was like, you know what? It might just be easier if I just get these, they're easy to assemble, I enjoy it, and then have some really cool terrain for the table. As I'm not into 3D printing yet and stuff like that. I know a lot of people are 3D printing all kinds of stuff. But I'm not running a printer yet, and so I thought this might be a fantastic alternative to get some really cool stuff on the table. Oh, and you know what? I did just notice that it says no glue required, no paints required, and no tools required. Friction fit parts, ready to assemble, pre-painted, engineered, wood-based. Well, that does sound like these things are going to be easy, so that is probably exactly what I need. So hopefully, uh, when I sit down to do them, man, they'll just be easy, go together, and create some really great stuff for the table. Thank you very much to everyone at iBuildIt. Thank you for designing these, running the Kickstarter, manufacturing them uh, so that I could get them and uh, we'll get them out on my table. Thank you so much and thank you for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you in many more.